Hey, I'm Bobby and I like to make stuff. Today I'm gonna replace this old busted clock with a brand new one. A while back, some good friends of ours gave this clock to my wife as a gift, and while the styling is really cool, it's not in great shape. The clock itself doesn't actually turn, even though I can hear it clicking, and some of the pieces are loose and missing, so I decided to try to recreate this in the same style using better materials. In fact, on this one, the walnut is not actually walnut, it's aluminum wrapped in plastic. So we're gonna use brass and walnut and recreate this. I started with what I thought would be the hardest part of this whole project, these tapered walnut spikes. I set the angle of my table saw blade and used a taper jig to push the pieces through and get a compound cut. This was actually a little bit difficult to figure out how to set up, but once I got it in place, I cut all the pieces using the same process. The brass pieces ended up having to be the same size and the same shape, but I was starting with the flat material, so the process was entirely different. I drew out some lines and measured out the total width of each one of these pieces, and then I drew diagonals to connect those lines. I made sure to build in a kerf in those lines as well. This is a wood cutting bandsaw, but you can cut soft metals like brass and aluminum on them. If you had a small tapering jig, you could use that to cut these perfectly, but I did them by hand and got them pretty close. After I had them all cut, I used some tape to hold one side of these pieces together, then I ran the opposite side against the disc sander to flatten it out. I did use a piece of wood on one side to hold them straight. After I had these all the same shape, I put them back together and cut a slot in the ends of all the pieces at the same time. Next, I got to use my new metal break that I made recently to add a 90 degree fold to each one of these pieces. I had a center line that I had drawn when it was a full sheet of brass, and I used that under the top edge of the break to fold it. This was the thickest material I had folded with the break yet, and I did notice that the orange piece across the top flexed quite a bit when I folded these. That piece is on my list to upgrade because if it's more rigid, I'll be able to fold pieces easier. The slot I cut in each one of these pieces created two tabs that I used a hammer to fold down. This folded down area is how I'm gonna attach this to the center of the clock going forward. Of course, just folding them makes them the wrong shape, so I used a sander to flatten out the back edge. That sander eats through brass very quickly. For the main body of the clock, I cut down and squared up a one inch thick piece of walnut. I drew lines from corner to corner to find the center and then used that to draw a circle all the way out to the edges. I used a triangle to draw a line every 30 degrees all the way around the circle. And these are the points for each one of the numbers, or in my case, where each one of the star pieces sits. I cut off the excess material on the bandsaw and then screwed on the faceplate to the back so that I could put it on the lathe. The first goal on the lathe was to make the outside a perfect circle. After that I used a pencil to make a mark about an eighth of an inch in from the front face. I cut a rabbit on the back side of the piece up to that line and this rabbit is to hide all of the spike pieces as I attach them. I sanded the front face and around the front edge and got it nice and smooth, going up to about 1200 grit. I also used the tailstock to make a little indention right in the center of the front piece before I took it off the lathe. I also traced the clockworks on the back side of it and then used a large Forstner bit to hog out all of the material all the way down so that it would sit embedded in the back of the clock. I drilled the correct size hole from the front using my mark that I had left with the tailstock. I used the curved part of the belt sander to make a small curve in the back of the walnut pieces to hopefully fit around the back of the clock a little bit better. I also used a Dremel to cut off the extra tabs on each one of the brass pieces so that there was a nice slot in between them. I sandwiched this between two pieces of wood and drilled a hole to hold a screw. But it would make more sense to actually drill the hole before cutting that slot so that the pieces didn't separate when the drill bit went in between them. On each one of these, I lined up that hole with the mark I left on the back side of the clock and drove in a small screw. Then I started to get an idea of what the whole thing was gonna look like, and it was pretty awesome. But of course the walnut pieces were solid, so I couldn't screw them in, and instead I used a five minute epoxy. I mixed up a little bit, put it on the face of the walnut, and then lined it up with the mark. I used CA glue and a little activator to hold it in place while the epoxy cured. This let me move on to the next piece, and I only had to mix up one batch of epoxy. After they had cured, it was time for some finish, and for that I used a couple of coats of Danish oil. The clockworks that we got for this came with some hands, but they're a little bit small for the size of the face of this clock. So I think we're gonna make some new ones out of brass. I used the existing pieces as a reference just for the length, laid them out on my sheet of brass and made some marks. I just cut out two rectangles on the bandsaw. I also drilled holes a little bit smaller than I actually needed in the end and used a drill bit to kind of ream them out to the right size so that they fit nice and snug. I used the belt sander to smooth off the outside edges, but then after testing the hands, they just looked too big to me. So I took them to the grinder to add a small taper to each side of each piece. This was actually a little tricky to do and I had to work really hard not to let the piece heat up too much. 
I pressed the clockworks in from the back and used a washer and a nut on the front to hold it in place and then just slid on my hands, being careful not to bend the metal as I pushed it in place. After all the hardware was on, it was done. Just had to clean it off and hang it up. There it is, I'm really happy with this thing. And granted, the style may be out of date for some people, but I really like the aesthetic of the mid-century modern. I love the combination of these materials. And it was a real challenge to try to recreate something that I found. I learned a bunch of new stuff on working with the brass and trying to cut the angles of these pieces. I got to use the lathe. This was a really fun project and I hope you enjoy it. I'd love to know what you think about this one, so let me know what you think down in the comments. I've got lots of other types of projects that you may be interested in, so be sure to check some of those out and don't forget to subscribe. That's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.